Hey guys, it's Ryan, and before we get started, I want to apologize. I just had some uh, dental work done today, so if I start pronouncing some words funny or uh, my face is a little puffy, that's why. <laughs> but anyway, um, I got a little different video for you guys today. A lot of you guys uh, leaving comments and just talking to me in person, saying you want to see more of me talking instead of just filming the camera around. So that's what I'm going to do with this video. But this video is going to be a little different. Um, for most of you guys, uh, since I'm just now starting off YouTube, most of you guys are friends and family and you should know my life plan. But for those who are following me that aren't uh, close friends and family, first of all, thank you. But let me just tell you a little bit about what I plan on doing with my life. So I'm a college student, I'm a senior, I graduate this December and I plan on uh, going to South Korea to teach and there's actually a high demand of English teachers all across the world but especially in South Korea and when I'm going through YouTube I'll see a lot of videos of teachers that are already over in Korea talking about their process but I thought I'd, it'd be really cool to actually show the step-by-step -step process of applying uh, to teach all the forms you have to get um, and just the process and kind of the timeline there because all the videos I've seen they're good videos but it's mainly just like oh so I did this um you just turn in the application they call you and that's it well I kind of want it to be more realistic because um, I know for me I'm the type of person that uh, will have like a mini freak out attack if like I applied I'm like they haven't contacted me in two weeks oh my gosh what's going on and I know there's probably some of you guys that like um, out there just as well so this video is just going to kind of provide a realistic timeline so I um, today I'll just um, actually apply for Korea um, to teach in Korea and then I'll just do a couple segments of me when I first get the email um, like confirmation email saying like hey thanks for applying this is your next step let's set up your Skype interview um, then I'll do a video of me doing the Skype interview well not actually doing the Skype interview but I'll probably do like a before like nervous ready for my interview and then I'll do um, an afterwards so and kind of give you guys a brief on how that went and what kind of questions they asked um, for there. So as you guys see I have my uh, computer um, um, screen logged in and I'm just uh, I'm gonna kinda show you the application and just a little bit about the process of how I'm applying and all that stuff. So let's go over to Google Chrome. So um, a lot of things uh, one really credible site that uh, a lot of people go through is Dave's ESL Cafe and that's right here. I'll just click on the Korean job board but they also have uh, uh, China as well here but Dave's ESO um, cafe just all the job postings this is I believe probably every recruiting agency out there uh, to send you to Korea um, but since I'm graduating in December I'm looking to go in March of 2017 I can just um, fine-tune fine my search so I'll just do the uh, command F and uh, 2017 is already up so first let's just try March so it looks like it's popping up four results from March oh this first one and this is actually in one cool thing about uh, Dave's ESL is it actually shows you when this was posted so today is Monday October 3rd this was posted today and there's um, like Noah's English Academy um, this one's in March and a lot of different areas for this so just kind of scroll down and March, March teaching. Oh, this one's at a university too. So this um, also another thing is um, teaching in Korea isn't just for like elementary or middle school. You can also find some high schools and universities, but normally those um, requirements are a lot higher. Like the bare minimum to get into Korea is just being a native English teacher with, with a three to four year uh, bachelor's degree. But it is getting more competitive, especially if you want to go to Seoul. Normally they're asking for at least uh, some teaching experience or have your bachelor's degree in, um, um, in English or in teaching. But that's not always the case. Uh, you can still get it in if you don't have that. Like me personally, I'm a communications um, degree, but I do have um, a tenal certificate. So I guess I have that coming for me. But so there's only a few options for March. So let's just try 2017. So yeah, it looks like 27 options popped up. Actually, let me go back to the top. What the heck? 
Uh, and I'm sorry uh, for uh, when you're looking at me and I keep looking down. I have my camera above my laptop, so that's why I keep like looking down and up. So to the top. Okay, so several options uh, for 2017. Um, and a lot of times, and even though I typed in March and only four options will come, that doesn't mean that there's only four job postings for March. Um, sometimes um, they just, in the description, the first description, it won't say the date. It'll just say like looking to hire in 2017. Um, and you click on it. And then when you click on each individual link, so, um, okay, I've heard of Soul ESL. So if you click on here, um, it just gives you a little more information about um, the stuff. Um, so like right over here, um, they have, it's broken down into the different schools. So first the private elementary school and central Seoul. And um, then it kind of tells you the working hours, when they're looking to hire, the pay. So that kind of thing. So control F or command F. So a lot of uh, 2017s. And, okay, so actually this one that, am I on this one? Yeah, okay, so the one that I'm on now is actually one that I clicked on earlier. And I think this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna apply for. It's through Premier ESL Recruiting. And I actually have a really close friend um, who she's in Korea right now teaching and she went through Premier ESL and she uh, totally recommended it for me. And you know, it looks like they have some uh, locations in Seoul, Busan, and a lot of other, uh, um, actually a lot of city areas in Korea too. And this was posted September 27th. So um, a little less than about six days ago. So that's nice, it's still fairly new. So we'll click on here. And again, um, it says the full-time work and it uh, lays down each school that they're hiring for. So some Seoul's, Budang, um, yeah, some more souls. Cool. So this is a uh, really nice right there. And also, and, um, it also lays out the pay. So, um, obviously I, I can't apply through. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, I ran out of memory or storage space for my uh, computer and I needed to run upstairs and get my external hard drive. I guess that's what I get for being a cheap college student and uh, getting the least amount of memory for or storage space for my computer. But, <laughs> but anyway, back to the video. Like I was saying, uh, you can't apply for these jobs directly through Dave's ESL Cafe. Uh, you'll have to go to their website and I mean, I'm pretty sure 99% of the time all the websites will be posted uh, when you actually click on the link. So as you see right over here, uh, here's the website. So let's just click on here. And should open in a new link, but oh well. So this is a Premier ESL Recruiting. Um, I will just kind of go through the website before I apply and just kind of show you what this one's about and then I kind of uh, at least compare this one to Epic. Um, Epic is probably the, actually it is the most popular one. They're the biggest company. They're the ones that hire um, the most English teachers. Um, Epic's a really cool company. I never want to diss them. Just my thing with um, Epic is they just kind of uh, send you in the outskirts of um, Korea so you can be placed in the countryside, which is nothing wrong with it. There's a be like beautiful parts of the countryside. Like when I went to South Korea, I was lucky enough to travel to some of those outsides. But uh, I think for obvious reasons, I would prefer to be in Seoul or at least close by Seoul. All of my friends live there and just Seoul is a really cool place. So um, now that we're on um, Premier ESL's uh, website, um, it's a pretty straightforward website. Um, I was on here earlier, so I've kind of been messing with it. But uh, you just have this, the steps on how to apply. They also have um, a job board right over here so you can actually see their individual job postings. Uh, most of these will reflect what you saw on Dave's ESL Cafe. But when I clicked on here earlier, and let's see if this will load quick. 
um, there was a few on there that weren't posted on Dave's ESL so if you see um, when you're on Dave's ESL cafe and you see a recruiting agency that sounds good for you uh, go to their website or so if you see one that uh, sounds good to you and you uh, don't see like a particular place or a uh, job that you want go to their actual website and uh, see if they have a, a job board to uh, see if there's any other uh, positions so like uh, some of these ones, oh, I guess this has a little rating system saying hot. <laughs> I guess these are the go-to places. Yeah, I guess there's one in Central Seoul. But um, you can see where these were posted. So like this one was posted yesterday and on uh, Dave's ESL, there wasn't one that was posted yesterday. Um, so I'll go back and um, let's do, actually let's click on how to apply first. So uh, this is where I'm going to just kind of compare uh, um, Premiere to um, Epic. So we will um, click on the job description. And most of the time the job description is going to be pretty uh, straightforward across the board. Every recruiting agency, every teacher uh, will be uh, a little similar. But one thing I want, uh, so these are kind of uh, their standards and all. So the monthly salary is uh, 2,100 won to 2,800 won, which that's actually really impressive because I pulled up the Epic pay scale um, and Epic is again the one that hires the most people and their lowest amount is starting at uh, 1.8 um, and this is the bare minimum being a level three um, or if you just have your bachelor's degree and being a native English speaker. And then the very highest I believe was 2.7 and this is like the two years of teaching um, as a level one, um, renewing with your, uh, your school that you're at. So 2.7, while uh, this particular one starts you off higher and then even caps off higher. So this is um, a good benefit with going with them. Uh, this next one's pretty straightforward. You'll see this like everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. There'll be times if you go for like a hogwan or a private school, um, you're... Um, they don't provide you with um, an apartment. What they'll do is they'll give you like a, um, a, an apartment salary. So they'll give you money, then you go out and find your um, apartment or your housing. While um, this one in Epic and several other ones, like I would say about 90% of them will actually just provide you with the housing so you wouldn't have to worry about that. But your standard uh, fully rent, uh, paid rent-free furnished apartment um, provided by the employer teacher will have to pay you utilities that's again pretty standard the gas the heating water that kind of stuff 10 days paid vacation per year usually one week off in summer and uh, winter vacation depends on the school calendar uh, 10 days off uh, paid vacation this is pretty good I've seen higher I think I've seen an, uh, one that's 18 I don't know offhand how much epics is um, benefits let's see over an epic if this shows Um, yeah, I don't know offhand how much Epic is. Um, I want to say it might be a little more than that, but I'm not sure offhand. But I mean, again, I've seen like ones that are like 18 day paid vacation. And then I've also seen uh, some that are a lot less than 10 days. So I think this is about in the middle for that. National public holidays off 12 to 16 days per year. This is pretty standard. You'll see this um, again. Sometimes it will say depending on school, but um, it was just like here in America, like we'll get like our Christmas and Thanksgiving's off. Same here. Uh, one way ticket to Korea or if you're already there, they'll pay for your way back. This is standard. Um, some companies will uh, say up to like a $2,000 plane ticket or you pay first and then we reimburse you so that's just something you might want to look at um, if money is ever tight for you but again you you will get that money back somehow um, health insurance 50% um, and then teachers will pay 50 each um, uh, percent this is standard um, epic is the same way the employer pays for 50% of your health and then you would just pay the other 50%. It's pretty good. This is pretty standard though. You'll uh, see this across the board as well. Servants pack, uh, payment. 
This is again uh, pretty standard and again the pension that's um, pretty standard as well getting your 50% uh, of that. Um, let's see that's what's over here. Nope that's Oh, actually, I do want to talk about that. So, um, one thing uh, with bec uh, becoming a teacher in Korea, you have to do an FBI background check. This is with any company, or if you're not from America, you have to do your own through your own government background check. Um, but one thing a lot of uh, the companies, recruiting agencies have been doing is using Chandlers. And what Chandlers are is just um, a company or organization that works with the FBI and pretty much just in, in Naaman's term, just helps you get your results back faster. So if you apply directly towards, if you apply for your background check directly toward, um, to the FBI, you're paying $20, but it takes about three to four months to get your results back. So if you're in a time crunch, if you just waited, or you've for whatever reason um three to four months that might not fit in your um your time frame and you want it now um well they've been uh using this website right over here and uh, i guess i can't highlight it um right over here this company um pretty much you can get your results within uh you can either get it back in 24 hours or in just up to two weeks so this is really nice if you're in your time frame, you'll just uh, apply through them. However, it is a little more, um, trying to think, I believe it is $55 plus the um, shipping, uh, the mailing cost of your normal uh, postal service. But I personally think $55 to get my results back in a week compared to $20 to get it back in three to four months is definitely worth it. Uh, this is actually the one that I'm going through um, currently so i would i personally would recommend it this is a trusted uh, company through the fbi and i mean if you just um, go through all of this um, you'll be able to find out more uh, information about this company and also epic and, and corvia uh, they use this and um, if you guys aren't familiar with what corvia is it's a recruiting agency that pretty much recruits Epic, Gepic, um, Small, which is S-M-O-E. It's the one that's just sending you to Korea. Um, and actually, Corvia is probably the most popular recruiting agency just because it does like the big three. Um, but I'm just personally not going through them. There's nothing against them. They're really good. Um, I've heard nothing but positive reviews from them, but I'm just going uh, through Premiere just from my friend's um, referral. So um, let's go to how, or let's go to apply. So obviously I will um, end my video here shortly when I start to applying so you guys don't see my information. But um, I, am, I am applying today. Um, this video is a little longer than normal. But from here on, a lot of my videos are going to be a lot shorter than this just because I was explaining what I'm going to do. So, um, yeah. So, click on apply now and I'll kind of just show you their first basic information, uh, the basic application. So, the basic name, nationality, gender, marital status, Skype ID, telephone, university, where you got your uh, Tenno or Teso certificate. Um, teaching experience, when you're available to start, do you have your FBI background check, do you have your diploma. So um, like for my criminal background check I just submitted it so I don't have that yet so I can write like just submit it. Um, and for my diploma obviously since I haven't graduated yet um, I don't have that so I write no. But that's not a problem. A lot of people um, apply before they graduate and that's just um, the recruiter will just uh, work with you extra carefully just to make sure you get that in on time and everything. So I'm gonna fill this in, submit this, and then my next video I will uh, post when I get my first email uh, from um, Premier ESL. Then I'll just do like a quick few minute video uh, reading to you what it says and what my next step is from there. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I know it's a little different from what I'm uh, from what I normally do my normal travel vlog videos. 
but uh, this is going to be kind of an ongoing series until I get over to Korea. Um, there's no set schedule. I know I've been trying to post videos every two weeks and <laughs> I know recently I've been kind of slacking on that. But um, this is just going to be kind of going based off when I get uh, calls from them, when I submit my stuff. So this, uh, this uh, playlist will be kind of uh, sporadic or yeah. Well, <laughs> this, this one will be kind of a, a random schedule of when things will get posted and everything. But again, hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's different. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, give this the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what you think about this video, how I can improve on this video. If it was good, if it sucked, please let me know because this is all about you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. <laughs>